Hi guys, it's Shishkabobber1 coming right back at you with an all new Boom Beach video. Decisions, decisions. Well guys, yeah. So, I think maybe you saw my last community post, maybe you didn't, but I was just telling you guys what was going on with the uh, with the tree. Let's jump into that, shall we? So, as you can see, we're still in 5ER. Now, we've got 149 keys, we've gone down that rabbit hole, shock launchers are rank 4. More importantly, um, we've even stopped off, picked up our troop health, we've actually maxed it, and uh, we decided to get rocket launchers. We're now at tick 4 rockets. So here's the dilemma, ladies and gentlemen, and this is what we're going to try to figure out in this video, hence the title, I guess it's Decisions, Decisions. Um, should I go six? You know, I've thought all along we should go six, but I'm having some serious reservations. And let me tell you what the plan is. Let me tell you what I'm considering. Uh, somebody mentioned it the other day. I think I was in Pete's stream, Pete Minstrel. Um, it was Dr. Mandy, I think. Talked about the, you know, floated the idea of, why don't you just maybe consider rushing to heavy choppers? And the more I look at this route, the more I see some really good virtue in it. And, um... It's boring, okay? It's not going to be really good for content, which that's that's not good. But in terms of a strategic path to make this season, I think it absolutely makes a lot of sense. And here's why. Um, what's the next push point this season? You know, seriously. I mean, is it boom cannons? Maybe. Um, is, is, it, is it 6 CR, right? This is a question, okay? Is it 6 CR? Maybe just going 6 helps, you know? Because, oh, I'll have the ER advantage over the 5 ER players. Well, you know what happened last time when we went 5 ER, ladies and gentlemen? We didn't have that advantage. We just played 5 ERs. Pretty sure the same thing's gonna happen here at 6 CR. Boom cannons, not really a big deal. I'm pretty sure rocket choppers can still handle it. They can still probably full clear faster than we can. You see, this is the paradigm that's hard to get over. Now, there is an extra um, DBD, which is really going to make things spicy. And that's going to make things spicy for us, too, in fact. In fact, that's going to put a lot of pressure on us to possibly need better meat shields than just the rifles. This might cause further delay in progression. It might cause us to do something crazy like get the scorchers or probably more intelligently, go back and get something like the heavies, try to prepare for the heavy choppers. Either way, these are all detours, ladies and gentlemen. Even this node up here, um, which is a nice node that's 42 keys. This is 38 for the boom cannon. Um, it's a lot of keys. Or we can keep going, because I do think one of the next push points is heavy choppers. The final push point, like we talked about, is building health and you know we've always said we can't take our eyes off the prize and we've made a lot of backtracking here in five so the way i look at it is why don't we just stay in five farm up a ton of keys and unlock the heavy choppers in 70r it's gonna be roughly 400 keys haven't done the exact math but it's in this ballpark okay and uh, yeah so it's gonna be a while i think we're gonna do this now you know pros and cons on, the, on all of this is that uh i won't probably be progressing in rank the most important thing is that i don't fall out of diamond now let's say i go 6 cr what, what's the best i can hope for maybe i get a couple of ranks ahead we've already unlocked rank 22 so maybe i get 23 maybe i get 24 that's two rank chests or that's equal to 50 keys detouring up here on the top like i mentioned with the proto and the boom cannon that's already 80 keys i'm not seeing a virtue in that the only um, downside is I can't fall out of Diamond doing this. I don't think I will. I think there's enough people in Diamond, and I think I can hold my own. I don't think I need to add anything to my um, attacks more than I've already got. I don't need to pick up critters. I don't need to waste time on any of that. So I think that's the plan. Um, let's jump into some hits, though. I just recently upgraded the rockets to rank 4. I've only seen a couple hits. You know, one guy, here's the log. It's, you know, <laughs> it's not the greatest. But if we can just maintain 21... I think we'll be okay. Let's just jump into a hit. I know it's a lot of the blah blah, but it's uh, it's pertinent because I, I, that's why I've been putting off this video because I haven't made up my mind yet and I'm not sure that I will. I think the smartest move is just to stay in 5ER for now and just wait till the time is right. I'll know when the time is right. It's not now, it doesn't feel like it is. And here's a 6ER player. See, here's already a 6ER player. They probably have rocket choppers. They would probably beat me if I was 6ER. Um, in fact, they might even beat me now. Might, might not even matter. Um, but let's focus on this hit. Now, what we want to do is probably just bard out one of the ERs. And um, it's, a, it's a little interesting base. I haven't quite seen one like this before.
Okay, we might have to do a dead flare at some point. I see this thing being a little tricky, but uh, here we go. Because I don't want these bomb ears to stray off uh, too far on the left. This is what we're going to keep an eye on. And we possibly will dead flare to keep them coming up. Or if it's just a couple of them, we don't really care, do we? This mine's going to be a diddle killer, so we get rid of it. We can bullet a taunt. He'll get it off eventually here. That boom cannon. Oh, hey, we got boom cannons. Yeah, well, a little bit late on the shot. Now we have another shock blaster to keep an eye on. I think we'll be okay. We got rifles moving into the front as long as they don't all die on mines, which they might. We'll drop a med kit. I don't know if it's going to help or not. Uh, good bullet a taunt. I'm going to keep him up. Let's go ahead and take this ER. One, two, three, four barrage. One, two, three, and four artillery, I think is the, the number here. Shock the shock blaster, don't trust it. Just gonna pound it out a little bit further. Taunt, don't want bullet to die. And Hail Mary. This is a stretch. Give a taunt. And a shock. Reflaring, taunting. And artillery. I mean, he hasn't... I think we stopped him, or he's going slow. Well, we got a 214. Well, here, I say he's going slow, then he just takes those last two, right? Let's see. Let's see how it holds up. I don't know. Well, that's a win. Right, let's take a look at our opponent's hit. Double time, of course. Um, what do we see? Bullet bombardiers. Well, this is encouraging, but you see, we went more defensively. So this is why I'm more inclined just to stay 5ER. Bide our time, as long as we're farming in diamond, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, just staggering. I bet it gets a little gross near the end. He's gonna lose all of his front line. He's probably even gonna lose bullet. Okay, he's got energy drink, but it's gonna start to get expensive if he can even drink. There comes another one. Yeah, he managed to plow through it. But yeah, bullet does go down. Rocket gives him a little bit of grief. Yeah, I think we see what happens from here. I don't know. Let's jump into another one, shall we? Do a couple more hits here for the video. I don't want to make it too long, but... And, you know, I guess a lot of it is just the way this tree unfolded. They gave us a lot of juicy tech early on. That added to a lot of the token crunch that we had. You know, we had barrage and artillery. It was basically on the main path, you know? Um, all these GBE and like stat nodes and all these different troops that we wanted to upgrade. A lot of people went rocket choppers as well. And there was critters and shock bombs and shock launchers. And now it's rocket launchers. But now all that's kind of taken and done. This was that arms race and everything. And now there's just, to, the way I see it, a big lull um, kind of till the end. Now things cost more keys too as we go further into the tree. So that just drags it out further. Um... So strategically, I think it's the best choice right now. We're just going to maintain our position here in 5ER. Um, you know, for now. Things change, I'll definitely let you guys know, whether it's through another video or community post. Okay, here we go. Another 6ER player. And this is another thing. I might just see a lot of 6s, and it might just compel me to go 6, you know? I mean, there is an advantage in the deck size, and there's an extra ER, and there's, you know, 15k more health, 10k base plus 50%. So, you know, all those ERs are rocking 15k more health. It, it, it's a lot. It adds up. Now, this guy has max rockets. He's also got the 150 DBD. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Okay, uh, we need to be taking out the stuff that hurts, like the rockets primarily um one barrage two artillery definitely does it if we're lucky one barrage one artillery does it all right where are you going bullet 
Perfect. Glad you went that way. Right, let's get these rockets out. One barrage each, one artillery each. See where that gets us. We need another one. Bop, bop. Shock the shock blaster. Don't trust it. Give bullet taunt. Oh, these mines are not good. Give bullet a taunt. Keep him alive. Oh, yeah, these are also not good. These are d diddle killers. Um, as long as we get this ER, I don't really mind if some bombardiers die. I mean, like, honestly, it's not a big deal. Let's take this rocket out. I need artillery for that. Hopefully just the one. Give bullet a taunt. Let him stay alive a little bit longer here. Looking for a reflare after this ER goes down. Get everybody up top with the med kit. Slowly but surely. Thinking about our Hail Mary, taking out the shock mine, flaring. And we'll taunt as we need to about now. Cycle the flare just to make sure. Oh, shock the uh, machine guns. Oh. 217. Okay, that was dirty base, so we were kind of like, you know, being cautious, right? I've never hit something that was, uh, you know, that deadly with the T DBD and the rockets. But uh, looks like looks like we're holding our own, ladies and gentlemen. So again, not necessarily inclined to move forward. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, that's what they say here in the South. I'll uh, take a quick look at Donkey Monkey's hit. What's up, Donkey Monkey? So coming in from the left, you know, he's got some faith in his base, kind of taking his time on my base. The problem with this hit, I'll tell you right now, it's going to be how they wrap around. There's a lot of mines that are going to really mess with those rifles. He'll probably lose just about all of them before they make it around. Watch this. Yeah, where'd, where'd your rifle go? Where'd your rifles go, bro? And then, yeah, <clears throat> take, taking out the bombardiers gets a little bit gross. He has no front line, but he manages to get through it, you know. Let's jump into one more. Hey, we're on a win streak. Maybe we can get back into 22. But it's just a matter of time, a rocket chopper player, they're still going to come along and smack us. They can. This base is not immune to rocket chopper hits. It's a new one that I built. I took down my old one, tried to build a Chinese one that I copied. I saw a bunch of good rocket chopper players hitting with it, but I used it. It was worse than the original base I had, so I scrapped that. I was thinking about it for a day, and I was like, you know what? Let's just build another one. So I just built this one, threw it out there. We've tweaked it a bit. It holds its own, you know. I mean, Seekers usually get all the way to the end if they don't clear it. You know, like, they'll, they'll have one ER left, but that's fine. Uh, Rocket Chopper players, mm, kind of depends. 50-50 or maybe more often than not at this rank that I'm at, they will still take it down. But we haven't seen any so far um, here on this shooting of this video. Maybe the Rocket Chopper players have risen up just a little bit over the Bombardier players at this point. You know, those layers have separated a bit. Which is fine. I just don't think there's enough separation for me to go rocket choppers. I still want to save those keys. I still want to get to that um, heavy chopper and more importantly the building health before those guys. And I think we're in a good position to do it. I think we just got to bide our time down here in 5ER, grin and bear it. I will eventually be able to upgrade our rocket launchers in, um, I don't know, about five or six chests. I think six chests, about two days. You know, we get three chests a day. Well, then we'll have the max rockets. That'll be nice. Anyway, rank 23 player. Okay, show us how it's done. This will probably be a rocket chopper player. I'm guessing, you know, the rank 23, right? They have a pretty strong base too, 100 DBD. These are just rank three rockets. Level 12 is rank four. Um, but that doesn't mean they don't hurt. Uh, he's got some distracting mortars that are gonna try to pull troops away if I'm not careful. Um, he's either gonna beat me or he's not. I mean, we could barrage an ER, but I feel like taking out rockets is a better better approach here. Um, now I'll just take all three of his rockets, and then maybe we'll take a shock blaster if we feel so inclined. Gonna drop one bombardier on the left just to have him kind of do his thing. Drop everybody else over here from the right ramp. 
start working on rockets, one barrage for each of these guys, and then we'll come back in with one artillery. One, two, whoops, that might have been, no, no, we're good, we're good. Need more rifles coming. We need a lot more rifles coming. Um, good thing we got troop health, because we're gonna eat a few mines here. Let's take these out. Let's go ahead and medkit those. Shock the shock. That's gonna be a diddle killer. It needs to go. Give bullet a taunt. Shock blaster needs to be contained. This is getting really dicey. Really fast. Shocking that shock blaster. Uh, I think we need to flare it. It's gotta go. The bullet of taunt. If you can manage to get it off, it would be great. Yikes. I think we see why this guy's 23. He's got a pretty gnarly base. Uh oh, bullet, bullet. I needed that taunt, buddy. Why did it go away? Why did it go away? Taunt, med kit. Taunt again. Flare it. We've got to get this down. Oh, there's no hope. Maybe he'll fizzle. I mean, you know, you can't give up. Definitely need to just keep an eye on the bombardiers. Let them clear a little bit. Um, we don't have enough GBE to consider barding out an ER. Uh, we just need to keep them alive. The biggest problem is going to be boom mines. In particular, it's hard to say which ones might be problematic at this point. I definitely see one. Okay, he got me, but, you know, his time wasn't stellar. We do need to kind of spice, speed, uh, speed it up. Let's see, which way are they going to go? Let's get rid of this one. The problem is that darn cannon. Ugh, we're just, we're, we're clearing stuff. But I feel like our base kind of held up. I just needed to do a better job on this attack for sure. You're gonna hit that mine, aren't you, buddy? You're gonna do it, aren't you? You're gonna eat it. Please don't eat it. You're gonna eat the shock mine instead? Well, I, I don't know if you're gonna hit that one, but we'll take it out anyway. Questionable. Questionable. Yeah, with the med kit. Bam, 55 seconds. Well, I don't think their hit was very good either. Oh, the notorious Quan Vu. But it's a lot, yeah, that was a decent hit. 222 is just fine. That's sort of like a, a par time that I can get as a bombardier player. So I think we just got bombardiered. Let's take a look. Seems like a bombardier time. Yes, but he's got heavies. Look at this, look at this. I've thought about it, you know, heavies are going to be pretty strong. I mean, it's a possible go back for us. Uh, definitely help once we get heavy choppers. And again, there's no boom cannons. So there's there's a lot of love here. And he's got Kavan. Look at this. Look at this. So, you know, this is another option. I mean, we could do this like pretty much right now if we wanted to. If you get Kavan, we might not quite have the tokens, but we'd have it like in another chest. We could get Kavan on the heavies if we want to. It's another reason why I like kind of just sitting back and uh, we can evaluate our options because... I don't see a lot of advantage in going to 6 right now, I really don't, but this just showed us something. It's nice, he's two ranks higher than us, I mean, I could do this. Um, but is it the right move, you know? The, the heavy part is synergistic, the Kavan part, I don't know. We've already got bullet, I mean, he helps on this hit, don't get me wrong, but looking at the final meta, the big picture, how important is Kavan going to be uh, for the strategy which I'm trying to do? Which will basically be just get the building health, uh, Rank up a little bit, grab some more tech like the stuff we missed, like the boom cannons. Rank up a little bit more, snowball it as best we can, and probably park, you know? So is Kavan even in that picture? He might be part of the snowball, I don't know. I don't know. It's a little too far ahead. But it's that kind of stuff we're thinking about. We gotta try to figure out all these moves as we, uh, as we go forward, you know? We don't want to make a misstep, because really just getting to that final tech, that final push point first, we'll have a lot of virtue. We'll catch up for all this time that we're just kind of trudging around down here, it won't matter, because they will have wasted time getting nodes that we can just zoop, skip right past. So, gotta keep the eye on the prize, you know? 
All right, this will be the last hit for the video. Don't want to make it too long, but let's see what happens because that last hit already took forever. But yeah, um, you know, be sure to let me know in the comments how your season's going. You know, did you go rocket choppers? Are you having fun in 6ER? What are you seeing? You know, what do you think about the season? It's probably a grind for about everybody for the reasons that I've mentioned earlier. All, all the goodies were kind of up front, so now there's this long stretch without them. Um, we've just gone through the arms race, you know, through the rabbit hole, and then it's just like, eh, okay. And as you can tell, that was a lot of back and forth, um, you know, quid pro quo, you know, in one chest you gain this tech, and the next chest they gain that tech, and unless you were really crafty in those eight hours where you might have had an advantage or something, it was hard to make a lot of headway. Okay, here we go, another rank 21, a little more on my level here. And, um, yeah, 50 hundo hundo. He's got no troop health, so we're expecting a slower hit. Consequently, he's got no rockets. Um, well, maybe it's not a slower hit. Maybe he's a seeker player, the more I look at this base. And this is kind of an interesting one. Um, Okay, well, he's either going to kill me or he's not, I think. So I don't think we need to get too darn technical on this hit. But let's, let's do something like this, shall we? What did I just... Oh, that was a bombardier. Whoops, that was supposed to be a rifle that dropped. Well, he'll hit a shock mine. Or a mortar. Need to kind of watch how this hit unfolds. Ooh, ooh that's going to be bad. I already see what's going to happen here. Shock Blast is going to wreck us. Need to get immediate access to shock it. Oh, it's done some serious work. Needs to kill. Needs to die. Two barrage, one artillery, take a taunt. So that's going to be a quick change of plans. We were going to bard out an ER, but uh, yeah, no. That's not going to happen. I think we're okay, though. We, we held on to this. Give Bullet one more taunt just to make sure that sniper goes. Um, let's get rid of the shock mine. Get rid of that boom mine just in case. I don't know. Don't trust it. I think, yeah, it was all right. Didn't need to do that. Like I said, we're really more or less hoping that our opponent um, doesn't get us here. Uh, th this was always kind of in their hands anyway, because I'm pretty sure they've, they're have looking more for some quick offensive move. The lack of troop health, though, makes me wonder how fast they can really go. Looks like this bottom one's our last ER, so we're going to start putting any GBE we have into it. And spamming that artillery, come on, come on, look at this beautiful hit. Uh, sarcasm, it's not beautiful. <laughs> Two minutes, one second remaining. Um, at least we held it together. I should have seen what was happening sooner, let's be honest. But, uh, you know, looks like uh, we held up. So yeah, we're not really making like moves here, but we're certainly holding our own. We're going to stick with the strategy and uh, see where it takes us. Like I said, we might decide to pull the trigger and jump into 6ER sooner if we're so compelled. Especially if it's a desperation attempt to get out of, uh, you know, possibly losing our 21 uh, rank. We might have to go into 6ER if that happens. I don't think it's going to happen though, because there's a lot of star expansion. Take a look at the leaderboard. Um, not Canada, but globally. Look at all those legendary players. They were just waiting for those gates to open last weekend. But that's not who we're concerned with here. Congratulations to all those players that are doing so well this season. But look at all these diamonds. We were, well, we just zoomed past us. Where are we? In the 400 somewhere? Right at 399. Yeah, we'll take it. Still top 500 easily, easily. So, top 500 is already 2150. Point is, there's a lot of players. Probably top 1000 is probably 20, uh, ranked 21 at this point. So, I feel like we got a lot of cushion to float on here. So, I don't really think we're in jeopardy. Um, so, with that, we're going to wrap it up. I go hope you guys have a super fantastic, awesome rest of your day. And remember, like always, be kind to others. Because if you're not, you're just being mean. And mean people suck. Take care.